Hey guys, welcome to Youth Ministers Unite. We are going to go up into the dome of St. Charles Borromeo today because this weekend's gospel has a lot to do with the Holy Spirit because it's the Great Commissioning. Yeah, and honestly, like, I'm really nervous to go up there because sometimes I can get really afraid of heights, but... You know why she's afraid of heights? Because she's short. <laughs> yeah, I think I never get up there. <laughs> so in Sunday's gospel, we learn about the Great Commissioning. And the Great Commission is where Jesus says, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and teaching them all that I have commanded you. Well, the apostles, what did they do before Pentecost? They hid. They were leaving Jerusalem. Jesus had to go and re-grab them, recollect them. And, and ultimately, it was because of the Holy Spirit, the power that the Holy Spirit has. And we see this cool image right up here in the dome of our church that the Holy Spirit uh, descends upon them and ultimately gives them the power to go and make disciples of all nations. Uh, it's the same power that Jesus ultimately has and uses to heal people, uh, to help people convert. And really, every uh, every Sunday, it's the power. The Holy Spirit is the power that take the bread and the wine and transform it uh, into the body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus Christ. And so this Sunday, just remember how important it is that the Holy Spirit comes and Pentecost is coming in nine days. So get ready. So when I was reading the scripture passage for today or for Sunday, it talks about how the disciples worshiped him, but they doubted. And then the next lines, Jesus says, go out and make disciples of all nations. And it just really made me think about the fact that you and I, the disciples, they weren't perfect, yet God gave him this mission to make disciples of all nations. And a lot of times in our faith, we can feel really inadequate, like maybe we're not good enough. Um, we have all these faults or weaknesses, um, but we can be encouraged that it's not because of our strengths, it's because of the Holy Spirit within us that we can evangelize. So if you guys are discouraged by your different faults or maybe you think that you don't have the skills or what it takes to um, be a witness or to make disciples, you can be encouraged that God has given us the Holy Spirit and it is through the power of the Holy Spirit that we can evangelize. So um, be encouraged, the Holy Spirit, um, he's the one who changes hearts and makes disciples through us. So my challenge for you this weekend is to pray one of the oldest novenas that our church has in the history books, which is the novena to the Holy Spirit. It actually starts today, which is Friday, and then it goes up until Pentecost, which is so awesome because that is when the Holy Spirit actually came upon the disciples in the upper room. And that is the night or the day, I don't know if, when it was during the day, but it's, when, it's the day that Peter goes out and starts to actually do what Jesus called him to do. It's, it's the day that Peter goes out boldly with the Holy Spirit and makes disciples of all nations. So my challenge for you is ultimately to pray that, that novena. You can find it online. You can also just uh, go to the description of this video and it's, it's linked right there. Uh, but go and pray that. It, it, you might think it's too long. It literally takes five minutes to pray this novena. And you pray it for nine consecutive days. And really, it's so awesome because you get holy. And why, who wouldn't want to be holy? Mm -hmm. I mean, I would. Yeah, that's kind of the point. Be holy. So, yeah. So. yeah. But you might be thinking, okay, what's a novena? Like, I, I, maybe you don't know a lot about novenas. Um, basically, a novena is a structure of prayer to help you pray in a certain way for nine days in a row. So... We start the novena today, we're preparing ourselves for Pentecost. So a novena, this, this novena to the Holy Spirit specifically, is nine days of a structure of prayer to prepare our hearts for the awesome gift of Pentecost. So if you want to prepare well for Pentecost, the novena is an awesome way to prepare your heart and your mind to receive the gift of the Holy Spirit in a new way this year. Wait, what does GOAT stand for? Um, GOAT stands for greatest of all time. Jesus is goat. So Jesus is goat. Is that like a new hip saying? Because oh, it's hip. I haven't I haven't heard that one before. Do you see how cool this shirt is? I mean, I see. Like, how look cool, at how yeah. cool that is. I, I get that, but I'm yeah. just saying, if I wore that, I don't know that I'd be as cool. I guess you'd be less cool. I think it would be less cool. I think I would give goat a bad name. Yeah, you should probably not ever wear something. Though like sends that. out guns out. What's that? <laughs> 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 I can't believe she said that to me. You know. She's just jealous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, my, no. Hey guys, my champ, no. 
So Andy's challenge for this week is... <laughs> Take it away, Disney. Yeah. <laughs> for the challenge... No, we didn't even do our intro yet. Oh, yeah. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Youth Ministers Unite. We are going to go up in... I don't even know what that's... Not the bell tower, because there's no yeah. bells in it. Yeah, uh, and... The dome. I was, like, super, super nervous. You can't tell them that. They, this is the beginning of the video. <laughs> <laughs> they want to see me be scared or something. I don't know. No, that you can say you're super nervous. Like we're pretending that we haven't. That we done haven't it done it. Okay, got it. Okay, <laughs> got it. Are you ready? <laughs> okay, I'm ready. I got this. Okay. Okay.